Hello and welcome to this Google Classroom tutorial video hosted by Adam Pierce of Strawberry7. In the video today I will be showing you how to create and archive classes, also how to join and remove students and teachers from those classes. So let's get started. To begin with open a browser, preferably Google Chrome, and go to classroom.google.com. You'll need to make sure that you're signed in with your school account which has been issued to you. From here, you'll be able to see any classes which you've already created. This area may also be blank if you haven't started using Google Classroom yet and you're entering it for the first time. So, let's have a little look at what we can do with these classes. To create a new class, just click the plus button in the top right here and click Create Class. You'll be given this interface and the only thing which you actually need to enter is your class name as you can see is required here. So I can just enter in 7.2 English for example. Section, subject and room are all optional. Um, subject would be obviously the subject of the class that you're teaching. Room would be the room that the subject is in and section just breaks the classes into different sections to make it easier for you to find if you have quite a lot of classes that you deal with. For the time being I'm just going to leave this uh, here and I'm just going to enter English as the subject and we'll click create. This will now create our class and it will take us into our class in just a moment and then you'll be able to do various options and changes with, once you're within the class. For more details on how to actually change things in your class and set your class up, be sure to see our other video on creating classes and setting those classes up, which is here in the top right of the screen now. If you have a class which you wish to archive, then simply go to the Google Classroom screen here to see all of your classes. Click on the dots in the top right here and just click Archive. It will ask you if you're sure that you want to archive your class and you just click Archive. It will also tell you where you can find your archived classes, but in order to access them just click the, dot, the lines in the uh, top left here and then click Archived Classes. This will then show you your archive classes. You can see these kind of lines which are on the header here to indicate that it's archived. And from here you can click the dots and you can restore this class if you want to, which will then put it back into the, uh, into the area. I'm gonna leave it archived for now. Let's go back to classes. So we've looked at how to create and archive classes. Now I'm gonna show you how to add and remove students and teachers. So when you create your class, you will be granted access to that class and you'll be made the owner. And then in order to add other people to that class, whether it be teachers or students, that's all done in the same section. You can either click here to go straight to the section or once you're in the class, you click the people tab. And this is where you'll be able to manage the membership of the teachers and the students. You add teachers and students in the same way but just by clicking this button in the top right here to invite them. So I'm going to add one of the teachers to this class. And once you've selected the teacher, you can select more than one teacher as well. If you want to. And then once you're done, you just click invite. That will then send an invitation to those teachers. It will go through to their email, or when they next log into Google Classroom, the class that you've invited them to will be available in their classroom interface and they'll be able to join it from there. It's the same principle for students. And what is sometimes easier with students is rather than inviting students one at a time, you can invite a whole year group. Now this is dependent on your admin team having set up this in Google Classroom. If you're unsure about this and you're one of our customers, please email support at strawberry7.com and we'll be able to look into this for you. If you're not one of our customers and you wish to contact us about this and get some further details, then our contact details are in the description below. So I'm going to add year seven and I'm going to click invite. That will then invite all of the students which are in the year seven group and you can see they've all populated down here. 
So this will automatically send an invitation in the same way as the, as the teachers. It will go through to their email and the next time they log into Google Classroom, they will see a class where they'll be able to have a join button to be able to join that class. If you wish to remove a teacher or a student, then that's easily done as well. With the teachers, you can just click the dots on the right here and click remove. With the students, you simply tick them. You can either tick one or multiple students and you click actions, remove, and that will remove the student from that class. Finally, as always, thank you for watching. That concludes this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for more videos you'd like to see, let us know. If you liked this video, please consider leaving us a like and subscribing to our channel for all the latest updates.